Hello friends. Uh, today our topic is Python bitwise operators. So bitwise operators, how can we use in the Python? So we will see in this video that how can we use the bitwise operators. So let's start. So here bitwise operators are used to compare binary numbers. It means that there are binary numbers in bitwise operators. Bitwise operators are used to perform operations at binary digit level. These operators are not commonly used are used only in special applications where optimized use of storage required. So how? See here. Uh, these are the bitwise operators and this one we will uh, denote it and with this uh, sign. So sets each bit one if both bits are one and or see here we will denote with this sign and sets each a bit uh, one if one of two bits is one. So these examples I will show you in the program that how can we use them. So this is or XOR. We will uh, denote this. This is an XOR sign. So set each a bit it if one only one of two bits is one. So uh, this is not. We will denote this line this sign with not. So inverts all the bits. And zeros, it means that uh, zeros, this is uh, less than two uh, signs, zero fill left shift and uh, shift left by pushing zeros in from the right and left, the uh, left most bits fall off. So as, a, as it is, it's the inverse of the uh, left, uh, left, left most bits. Now we will see here a uh, sign right shift. So uh, you can use them in the program. So how will we see that this will uh, start from the right. We will uh, use it from the last, last two uh, right side. After that, we will see that how can we use them further. So here, uh, these are the operators which I have already told you about them. Uh, bitwise and this is a function. And uh, you can see here uh, bitwise or this is a slash marks and this is at the sixth position means if you uh, bitwise exclusive or so you you want you have to just uh, shift plus six that will sign come so here this is uh, from the uh, tab press uh, there is a tab uh, word keyword on the keyboard that's uh, uh, it's up to a uh, tab word just to press it uh, by using a uh, shift and this one so less than less than and greater the greater than. So how we will use them? In next slide, I will let you know. Uh, bitwise a uh, logical end. So we denote end with this sign. So he see here. This is one operand and this is two operand. So if both operands are true, then result will be true. True, false, false. So if one operand is true and second is false, then we will uh, get the result false. So false here, it means that in the uh, end operand, we have to just uh, both conditions should be true. If there is a one condition false, then we will get the result false. You can see in the diagram. So this is a, a binary and uh, binary diagram. See here one zero 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 because here you can see that uh, one one. It means that we will get the result one other are see, all zeros. So this was the end. Now I am going to R. So see here, this is R true true equals true one true zero true one. It means that one zero one zero one one zero zero one. It means that uh, this uh, operator will uh, get the result true when each we will get the result in one. It means that if there is a one in table that we will definitely get the one. Uh, it means that true if there is a, there are both zero zeros then we will get the false because both are zeros and we will result also get the false but if here see one zero it means that there is available one that's why I am getting one so this was the about uh, bitwise or so now see here XOR bitwise XOR see here true true it means that one one equals to true 
we will get the zero. It means that both condition, if both operands are same, then we will get the result zero. It means that false. Both operands should be different. It means that true, false, one zero, then we will get the result true. Zero one, we will get the result true. If there is a zero zero, we will get the uh, result false. And if we get the true true, it means that one one, we will get the result zero. So this was about XOR. We will denote this sign. Now not it's all the inverse of the operand. It means that if operand is true, then we will get the result false. Definitely we will uh, assign this sign. Uh, this sign is of not. If we uh, if we our operand is zero, then we will get the result true. This was about the not. So here another uh, bitwise left shift. So see here. Uh, this uh, I have assigned for an example a is equal to 10 and I want to uh, a bitwise left shift it means that a left shift 2 so what will how will can we do that you can see here at the top 0 0 it means this two zeros will be skipped you can see in the diagram after that this zero will be at this place at this zero will come at this place and one come here and zero come here one come here and zero come here after uh, ends two index will be zero because we have uh, we don't have to change them because just we have to keep them as zero just like uh, see here that in the starting I have skipped two zeros you can see in diagram zero come here zero came here so now I have uh, keep this zero at this place and this zero at this place and one at this place zero in this place, one at this place, and zero at this place. After ending two zeros, you can see here, we have just to make them zeros. We don't need to change them in further conditions. This was uh, about the uh, left shift. So now right shift, see bitwise right shift. See here, this was the uh, binary of 10. So uh, see here, zero, we, we have to just uh, uh, skip them. First of all, how will we do it? See here, this two zeros at starting, these two zeros will be skipped. And this one, zero come here. And this zero will come here. This zero will come here. This zero will come here. This one come here. And this zero will come here. Two zeros will be skipped because this is uh, starting from the uh, left and ending on the right. And that was uh, left, which I had told you already. This is starting from right and See here, this is starting from right and ending with left. So that's why it was the all about the bitwise operator. This, this is just, I have given you the introduction about them that how can they work each other and how can we use them easily. So now I will show you the program of uh, bitwise operators that how can we run. So let's start. Yes guys, so now I am on the computer screen for showing you that how can I run uh, bitwise operators. So see here, uh, I have initialized A is equal to 10 and B is equal to 15. So print A and B, I'm going to use AND operator. I had already told you in the theory that what is A and why we are using. So if I run it, so see here, the AND it means that, that the result will be 10. So A and B, it means the 15. If I get the end output, then the end output will be 10 of A and B. So here, this will be invert. So here, if I run it, 11, minus 11, because uh, it's a negator of A. That's why I'm getting minus 11. So if you see the code of this one, A is equal to 10, B is equal to 15. So I'm going to it a uh, negator. So see here, I have used this sign and A. I'm going to negate to A. So that's why I'm getting a minus 11. So here are, this is a R sign. So we will use them. Same code I have written, just I will change the sign here. If I give here A, exclamation mark and B if I run it 
15 uh, because uh, i have told you that uh, in the depth i have uh, told you in the depth in theory so whenever you are uh, going to use this code so before using this you have to understand the theory that what am i saying there and if you have any question you can ask me so i will help it out so this is xor the sign of xor this one we will use it so this sign is at six number press shift plus six that you will get the xor sign so if i run it so now i get a uh, five so just uh, like this you can use them easily these operators are very useful in the applications so left shift two what is this i have already told you in theory so now a uh, double less than marks and b so if i run it the two shifts will be there this will be output see here so if i uh going to execute the program of right uh, right shift two it means that the uh, two shifted will be from the right and left uh, two shifted will be uh, from the left side so here if i run this code see here zero so matter is that uh, you can use them in in the your code uh, easily then after that you will see that how is this working so that was all about the bitwise operator so if you have any question you can uh, directly contact me i will help it out so friends thanks for watching